What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Urban Ghost Urban Exploration. What the hell is that? <laughs> guys, I'm I'm here at the bowling alley for a 30 minute alone challenge. Whew. Guys, I want to go ahead and check out the woods in the back. Which is probably a really, really stupid idea. Found out actually from one of our uh, fans a couple years ago they actually found a woman in the woods uh, dead I don't really know the specifics I don't know if it was a homeless woman I don't know if it was a woman who was kidnapped I don't really know the situation I just know they found somebody and the weird thing about it is in Joe's 30 minute uh, alone challenge first time he was here um, uh, there was a voice like a sentence in the beginning of the video uh, that said he hurt me and now there's a body which really made my skin crawl uh, this place I mean is in a terrible terrible area packed with homeless this whole city is sort of downtrodden unfortunately and there's very few uh, places for them to go uh, so they sort of hang out a lot of the abandoned places in the area which unfortunately uh, have been uh, periodically taken down uh, man it is so freaking dark <laughs> Oh man, guys, bear with me. <sighs> this is gonna be crazy. <sighs> All right, well, ain't nothing to it but do it, right? Let's go savage. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm at the bowling alley. I wanna I wanted to take a a walk back here, do something that I haven't done yet. I've been inside and it's freaking crazy but I'm very very curious about this voice that was in Joe's video and uh, the fact that we heard a story that was somebody found in the back there in the woods now this is some this is a place where we know for a hundred percent fact that homeless people frequent and uh, actually let me show you something in the last video with Marie and Angie, there was a knife outside when we left, stuck in the railing. And if you notice, which is something that's immediately making me really nervous. What the hell is that? Hello? Ooh, that's crazy. Uh, anyway, the knife was like right there, and now it's gone. And I'm hearing movement in the in the building over there. I'm gonna go check it out probably in a second. Uh, it's pretty chilly. It's bad weather, and I really don't want to get sick for the holidays, so I'm trying to sort of avoid going inside since I don't really have a mask with me. But. Uh, I am going to do something that's actually pretty damn stupid, and that's going back in these woods alone, which I would not recommend anybody doing on their own, like I'm doing. Uh, might as well leave it to the professionals. Not that I'm a professional, because uh, I'm not. <laughs> but this is what I do for a living. Um, there's the there's the rocket cannon <sighs> this place is crazy scary um, I don't know how far deep I'm gonna get in the woods I know when Chris went back there he got a lot of voices and then we got that strange sentence that's freaking just been bugging me lately a whole entire sentence it sounded female and it said very clearly he hurt me and now there's a body and then knowing that they found a body back here uh, possibly more but as far as I know it's just one uh, it makes me really sort of nervous 
So I got a few of my lights tonight. I am going to do a review video, a quick one, uh, for Olight and everything. That sale is this Friday, guys, 40% off, multiple products, so just be ready. Oh, man. This is nerve-wracking, guys. Seriously. I'm out here by myself, and uh, such a bad, terrible idea. Um, but... I really wanted to sort of see if I can't get something. Seems like there's more stuff. That's a, that looks like some sort of. Well, I didn't know, but it looks like a leash. But got. <gasps> oh, guys, guys, guys! No. No, that's a hanging rope, guys. Yeah, this is a this is a dog leash, but that that's a fucking rope that hangs here. That's a oh god, I can't even speak. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Guys, excuse my language, but yo. It's a hanging rope. Oh my god. Please, dear lord. <sighs> Please. Don't let me find anybody hanging out here. And I pray whoever made that did not use it. Oh my god. I'm shaking now, man. That made me real, real freaking nervous. What was that? Oh man, this is a terrible idea, guys. Wow, oh, can't even believe that. That is a freaking, that is a freaking rope to hang yourself. Oh boy, okay. Okay. Uh, that makes me sick to my stomach. Actually, I'm pretty damn nauseous all of a sudden. That's a bad sign. <clears throat> That's a real bad sign. Whew. Ah, it's bad energy. Shit. <coughs> no. Oh shit. Oh shit. Whew. Okay. Alright. You know what I'm gonna do? Before I go any further, I'm gonna pray. So, guys, if you guys don't want to participate, that's fine. I completely understand. I certainly respect everyone's beliefs, but... I'm gonna freaking pray. I'm gonna freaking pray. Whew. To Heavenly Father, God, I ask that you be with me tonight. Protect me from anything that happens to be dark, evil. Lord, protect me from that impact. Lord, I... Lord, and I pray that you are with anybody who happens to be out here struggling to survive, Lord. And I pray that anybody out there looking to do anything to themselves, you just touch their heart, Lord, and show them the way because that's so, so terrible. Just give them a big hug of the light and show them the love that they deserve, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Whew. All right. I feel better. I feel better. I feel better, so. What the freak? Hello? Is there anyone out here? I'm just filming, I'm not here to mess with you. I swear I heard a voice over there. I am gonna walk over there in a second, but I wanna take a look at some of the stuff that happens to be over here. It's incredible what is back here. It sort of defies logic. It's a reflector of the bike. There's all these shoes and there's 
Believe it or not, there's underwear, there's clothing. This doesn't even look like something that was just dumped, you know, because typically when you get things that are dumped, they're sort of clumped together. Um, these clothes are very well worn and dirty. That looks like some sort of blow-up thing. Definitely hear a bunch of things in the woods. So, oh man, this is starting to be a hell of a lot crazier than I thought it was going to be. Ooh. Well, I came out here to find something. And it seems to be that I'm definitely on the right track. So it's kind of one of those things that I'm out here to find something, but I honestly almost don't want to. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe there's a rope there. A freaking hanging rope. Oh my gosh, it's a freaking noose. Oh, that's so terrible. That is so, so terrible. That could have been used on somebody. That could have been used by somebody, that could have been something that somebody made to plan on doing something themselves, that could, could have been anything. Look at all these clothes. Jeez. See, the sad part is, some of the stuff looks like children's clothing. And, uh, a lot of women's shoes and stuff. Which, again, is disconcerting. Because... How many women and how many young girls out there go missing? And then we go to these places and we find clothes from young ladies and girls. And it could be a coincidence, it could just be homeless people and their families. It could be anything, but it could also be something really horrible. And I hope not. I really, really hope not. I remember when we went up to uh, Carolina, we went in this hotel we were staying by, and uh, somebody's tried to basically peel that door open. Jeez, that's desperation right there. That's, that's a lot of work just to do that. Um, and, uh, <gasps> what the freak, what the freak, what the freak. racing guys my adrenaline is pumping look see there's a there's a bra look that most of that looks like ladies clothing blouses and jeans and some shoes there a bra some underwear it's crazy um, but anyway the, the hotel up there we actually told somebody that we went there and they they told us we were nuts because the gangs used that hotel, but also three homeless people took a woman in there and slit her throat. <sighs> oh my god. See, there's, there's definitely people in there tonight. I'm going to go check it out in a bit. But it sounds like there's freaking people in there. Oh. Um, so, it's freaking crazy. You never really know what you're going to run into, and I feel like sort of an occupational hazard of what we do, that one day, we're going to end up finding something or seeing something we don't want to ever go back from. And I don't want to ever be in that position. But, I just have a bad feeling that one day, one day, it's going to happen. Funny how many H and R block signs there are around here. For some reason, there's not an H and R block sort of store near here, as far as I know. And yet, there's a bunch of signs everywhere for them. Let's see, there's another sort of little girl's garment. 
like a piece of like a jacket or something. Oh dear God. Oh. Okay. So you can look at all this clothing. Looks like a jacket, see? That's all looks like kids' clothes to me. It's insane. And there was a little girl's chair back here where I'm going to go. Oh boy. This is such a bad idea. Guys, this is such a bad idea. Okay. Such a bad idea. Ooh. Holy crap. Holy crap. <sighs> Hopefully I'm not panning too quickly guys, I apologize. Oh shit, there's somebody right there. Look at that. That's either eyes or that's somebody, I don't know. Could be a reflector, could be just eyes of some sort of animal. There it is again. Ooh, that makes me nervous. Turn this light off for a second. I brought this little tiny light. This is a UV light. We use this on the yellow house. It's actually one of the gifts this week. And if you can see, hopefully, not turning the right way. There we go. But if you can see, as you can see, it's a UV light. So I'm gonna try something real quick. On this rope. I only got my headlamp on and I. I don't like being back here in the pitch black dark. So, the good thing is, blood tends to show up. in the UV it doesn't appear like there is any of course that's not a definite but I would expect maybe some sort of skin or blood if somebody did actually use this but it's possible that nothing did come off Oh man, okay. Anyway, that's just an interesting sort of trick to see if there's actually fluids on something or not, but I don't know if this is on its brightest setting or not. There it is. What was it? What is this? Oh, it's, it's a dog nail clipper. Strange that's out of here. Oh man, I'm ready to be done with this challenge because I want to get the frick out of here, guys. Let me tell you. So far, I am not liking what I just found. I am not real happy about it. I am not happy with it at all. Ooh. I 
This path looks a lot more mashed down than it was before. Close again. Oh boy. Again, guys. The heck was that? That sounded like a woman's scream or a girl's squeal or something. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Whew. Well, okay guys, I advise no one to do what the hell I'm about to do. First, if I don't make it out of here, nobody's going to get that warning, are they? I really hope I make it out of here. There's another woman's shoe. That almost looks collectible to be honest. I don't know. I don't know really know my cans, but So many ways this could go terribly wrong. So, just saying. Look at all that back there. Jeez. That looks like some sort of scale. Yeah, and I just heard something sounded like a scream. Alright. Look at that, it looks like a... It looks like a little kid's shirt, right? What the fuck? I swear I just saw somebody run by over there. Oh boy. What the frick was that? Okay. Definitely hearing stuff. Okay. I'm not gonna go too far. Because I had a really bad feeling. And I swear I saw somebody back there. And that directly goes back to that commune back there. There's, there's people back here. This is not where I want to be. Oh, look at that. It's an old freaking Star Wars book. Huh. Whoa. Hello? Is there anyone back there? Wait a second. I think there's somebody. I think there might be somebody back there. Okay.
There's definitely people back there. I'm pretty fucking sure. Chair's gone. People have been back here since we've been here. Alright. For safety reasons, because I'm pretty sure there's people back there. And I really don't want to disturb them if there are, and I don't want to put myself in a vicarious situation where I had to defend myself, so. For safety, I'm gonna go ahead and back the hell up. Get out of here. We do a lot of dumb things, but I certainly don't have a death wish. So. Certainly stupid. <laughs> Holy crap. Well, hopefully, hopefully, I got a response. Just like Joe did the other day. Whew, that's nerve wracking. That is nerve wracking, guys. See, there's another woman's foot flop. Yeah, right over there, right over there. Somebody just moved by. All right, I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna leave them alone. I'm getting the frick out of here. Holy shit. Ooh, alright, well, I'm gonna call that done. <laughs> Anything else would just be asking for trouble. Guys, have a happy, happy Thanksgiving. Much love to you. Thank you so much for all your support this year. Thank you so much for all the support on the vlog channel as well. UGE Brothers vlogs. I probably will be having content up on that channel from Thanksgiving of me cooking and stuff in case you're interested for Savage Kitchen and things like that. Oh boy. I right, stay safe out there. If you are interested in any merchandise, please check out UGE Brothers.com. There will be a sale this week for Black Friday guys so keep an eye on that there's 118 items up there I've been really busy dedicated to get stuff out oh man this place makes me so damn nervous uh, if you're interested in Cameo guys check us out at Cameo.com or you can download the app we'll be more than happy to do a personalized shout out for you <sighs> holy shit all I know is I'm out of here. Until next time, guys. <sighs> Peace. Stay fucking savage. <laughs> <laughs>